Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. I'm the Mysterious JG. Um, to, well, I got a quick confession to make. Uh, I already confessed to this in the comments, uh, like the description of a previous video. But uh, since not a lot of people read those, I'll let the people who do read those, they'll have a little advance notice, but everybody will find out now. Do you remember how Raven uh, turned out to be Schwan of the Schwan Brigade? And I wasn't really... I kind of seemed probably nonplussed by it. Well, it got spoiled for me. But the thing is, knowing that I was going to actually play Tales of Asperia the next day, I remember one evening looking at a Tales of Asperia fact to find out about the secret mission for the next boss. And Draggy the Dork doesn't spoil who he turns out to be. I don't think she does anyway. But somehow I ended up looking at something else, and it like said... Uh, you know, I knew a, I knew a boss was coming, and I wanted to see what the secret mission was. And it says, "Oh, and it turns out that Raven is actually Swan, and he's been an Imperial Knight all along." So, like, literally, like 24 hours, less than 24 hours before I played that fight, it got spoiled. And even as I read it, I think I was kind of like, "Huh." Like, I don't think I like was like, "What?" But, but like, if I was gonna have a like, you know, divided into three, you know, response where I was just shocked and blown away on camera, um didn't really happen, and I don't think it would have happened anyway. But, uh, yeah. So that's part of the reason I was so just kind of like, huh, with that. And not a confession so much as just, uh, letting you guys know what's up. But I, I did, of course, in the last video, I was just like, screw it, I'm sick of... I, I had a bunch of off-screen attempts to get the secret mission to work. I couldn't get it to work. So finally I was just like, screw it. Well, now I've, uh come back and uh, basically I was like all right I'll just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and win and then off screen I'll get it and move on whatever well the very first time uh, that I fought that boss and I, I'm telling you the truth you guys this is the kind of thing I could make up to try to make myself sound better but I'm being honest the very first time I fought Schwan after having recorded the video and just been like okay I'll save in a different slot I'll come back later and get it and it won't matter and it'll be fine very next time I fought him, when I wasn't recording, I actually got the secret mission to work. And you can go look it up on YouTube if you want to see it, but it's just like, it, like any other secret mission, it's just a very brief little animation, and then it says, secret mission complete. And in his case, he falls down and he goes, excellent, and gets back up, because he's like impressed that you hit him right after his super attack, so that's pretty much it. So now we're going to pick up... Uh, I came back into the shrine to, to level grind, actually. You'll notice uh, one thing that's different, other than the fact that our levels are higher, is uh, I now have over limit level 4. I actually had what I needed to get over limit level 4 before fighting Schwan, and just didn't realize it and didn't go in and synthesize it. But in fact, um, maybe it's under items, or is it under... Valuables? Limit Quartet should be in here somewhere, yes. Look into the orb to gain courage. Enhances over limit. So this was something you make out of some crap that I already had, and once I uh, once I actually had it, uh, your over limit level 4, you, you can... I don't use over limits very much, but the way they work, different directional buttons on the... Uh, not the joysticks, but on the control pad there. You can use a, you can use one, two, four levels of over limit in one shot, and uh, the level three enables you to do uh, your ultimate super attacks, which I've done but not on camera with Yuri. And level four actually makes you invincible until it wears off. So that actually would have been the one to use uh, if I, because because what I had to do is wait for him to over limit and then go for his mystic art, I guess it's called, and I had to knock him down before he finished, like, his little ha, 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 catching my breath animation after the Mystic Art. That's what I actually had to do, and um, had I, if I had actually gotten the level 4 over limit, which I actually went and grinded for and got off camera after having beaten him and gotten the uh, secret mission, yeah, I would have just been able to, like, when he over limited, I would have just used my level 4 over limit, and then it would have been a, a matter of luck. He still went for his Mystic Arc, because the rest of my party members were in close and were going to take significant damage. I would have completely no-sold it, like WCW World Heavyweight Champion, the Giant style, 
and uh, knocked him down, and it would have been easy peasy. Uh, using that freeze time item, even though Draki the Dork mentions it, I looked in other places, and they all mention the fact that that doesn't work. So, Draki, tisk tisk, didn't do your homework on that one. Um, and uh, yeah, only other thing to point out is that I've uh, picked up some new art because I finally started to figure out a little bit about how altered arts work. Uh, so I've got a. Uh, Guardian Field is equipped. Azure Edge. There's like a fancy version of Azure Edge you can get going. Which, uh... Why isn't it letting me, uh... No, no. Skill Details. Okay, here we go. If you've got Charm, you can do Azure Storm. And if you've got, uh... Crucible, you do Azure Blast, and there's just different funky techniques you can do with Azure Edge. And it depends on what skills you've got equipped. And you you have access to them with the right skills equipped, and then if you use them enough time, you can use them even without the skills equipped, I guess. Um, I did get a little confused about how that worked, but... Because it seems like I now now that I think about it, I'm not sure how to do without equipping uh, chain. I don't know how to do Azure Storm instead of Azure Edge. And without doing uh, Crucible, I don't know how to do Azure Blast. So I guess I'll just have to figure out what things I've got equipped. I also have skills where um, that are supposed to be teaching you a new. Uh, Athenor is supposed to be teaching you a new art, and it doesn't seem to be working. So there's probably arts that I haven't done enough, so like, you learn, you generally speaking learn arts by doing other arts a lot of times. Like Lone Wolf Charge, maybe if I do that a hundred times, some new thing will come. But uh, that I just, I think I just got. Wailing Havoc, send an enemy flying with a roundhouse kick in midair, then finish off with a quick thrust. There's a lot of ones that I haven't been using, and if I was using them... Like, I like Destruction Feel. I've got 500 plus uses of it. Pretty sure there's nothing left to unlock with further use of Destruction Feel. Um, Guardian Field is an interesting one. It uses a lot of TP. Uh, but it you thrust the en weapon into the ground to attack nearby enemies while healing allies within the area. So that one uh, heals you and your allies. It damages enemies. It's really good. Uh, your allies don't tend to hang around within range to be healed. Because they're running around all over the place. Still, it's pretty cool. Haven't got any altered arts going on anybody else. Um, as far as I can make out, Yuri and Judith are the two characters that you kind of could possibly actually want to play as. Uh, Rita is, once you've got access to her mystic art, is apparently like overpowered and game-breaking. If you if you play her correctly, she's just totally broken. But um Carol and Repeat you can play as Raven and Estella is apparently like the worst character to try to have fun playing as. But Yuri and Judith are both set up that you could actually use them. But uh Yuri's pretty much the guy. And I want to be the guy. Don't know that I've got much else to tell you. Um uh, I guess yeah, the equipment's different now. I learned the thing and I learned and equipped the art that lets you use, um, not the art, excuse me, the skill. I thought I equipped it. Special? Oh, no, I don't have special equipped, or do I? The ones that are in green you have equipped. No. How the hell does that work? Swords up, combo plus. Defend 2. Increase physical defense by 10%. Yeah, I don't actually have, uh... I want to have special going, because I want to showcase, uh, super awesome combos and shit now. I don't know if these things all stack. Strength 1, Strength 2, and Strength 3. If they don't, I'm totally wasting, uh... using them. Gale is... Alembic. These are things that I don't know that I'm using them correctly. While staggering, prevent being knocked down by a hit of the guard button. Gotta find something I can just 
drop and combo voltage. Combination increases damage once for a combo. I don't use fatal strikes often enough for that to be a big deal, so I'll get special hooked up again. Trigger a Mystic Art with Overlimit level 3 or above, so now I can actually show you guys the Mystic Art for Yuri, which I don't think I've actually had that uh, happen on camera, so it'll be nice. And uh, magic increase spell damage. Doesn't really make sense, because I don't use that at all. Anti-element. Reduce the effects of magical ailments. I got four, so I should just find something worth about four points and get it going. Stat boost. Increase the effects of magical stat boost. No. Taunt with RS to refill the overlimit gauge. That's potentially a neat one. This one I think I don't need anymore because I've already learned the skill. Wow, happiness 11. Or happiness is 11 skill points to use. That's a lot. So you'd really have to be focused on that. These are ones that you would want to get for grinding purposes. Anyway, wow, I didn't intend to go this long. Uh... And the passive, it's, it's tempting to just do the passive, uh, changes in art. Cross counter. I think I usually have that going. Okay, that's fine. But as you can see, we're back, uh, I came down here to grind for levels. And to learn new altered arts and whatnot. But in fact, it's time to get attacked from behind. We'll destroy them in no time. There's your guardian field, so you can see it. Very wasteful to use against these guys, but we may be a small guild now. But we'll make it big. We are brave Vesperia. You're killing me. Just shut the fuck up, all of you! I hate you so much. Anyway. Um, let's see what what stuff I want to I want to start using Lone Wolf Charge. That's down and um, thingy. So Shining Dragon Swarm. I've already oh, I haven't used that much. So maybe something new comes from that. But Lone Wolf Charge. He's oh he's just so many TP though. I'm gonna run through TP like crazy. But uh, Azure Edge now has like new fancy stuff that it does. But only if I actually understand how that sh how that works, and I don't have to have that skill equipped to use it. There are still Imperial Guards down here, even though there's no longer any reason for them to be here. And I... thought this was the way out of here. Uh, okay, so apparently I didn't want to come here after all. Oh, I know where I wanted to go. Damn it, leave me alone. Monster, stay away! Guru. An unexpected return for a guru in this video, folks. Yeah, I believe actually I, I you find this thing and then you go south when you're playing through the level normally. So I'm backtracking my way to the beginning of the level. But this is taking me further down. No, that's the big... I probably should have got my way out of this dungeon before resuming the recording, or so I should say starting the recording. This is a new session. Sorry about that, folks. And I didn't actually go back to the build the room where we had the boss fight to convert. You know what? Let's this will be a bit of a non-event of a video, but let's run down there and see if uh, he's still alive. I mean, Raven sacrificed himself to save us. But considering that not only is this dungeon still accessible, but, uh... He still appears to be alive down there. Maybe we can go check on him. Or not that he still appears to be alive down there, but it's still actually full of Imperial soldiers who survived. Ah, jeez. Let's eliminate them! 
Yeah, that's Azure Blast. That's my awesome new. No, I don't. Oh, I just learned Lone Wolf Storm. Oh, I just learned a whole new technique. Or an Altered Art version. That does a lot of damage. That was awesome. I got a knight's sword. Okay, so there you go. That was Lone Wolf Charge can also become Lone Wolf Storm with Gale skill, skill equipped. So that's all right. So now I have to use that until I learn Lone Wolf Storm. Okay. See, I didn't didn't. I thought I wasn't unlocking anything because it didn't seem like a. Uh, when I was playing with the menus before, it didn't look like anything was primed to be unlocked there. Maybe I am heading the right way to escape from here. I don't remember. Obviously. Should be fairly obvious, I don't remember. This might be a whole video of just playing around with new skills while you guys watch. I am... Uh, I've mentioned this several times over the last... 10 or so videos. I really do intend to eventually get into a, a pattern where I'm recording this game frequently enough that I can upload it more often, because uh, other than uh, Warriors Orochi, which went on a little, little bit of a hiatus, this one has been the least frequently updated. Got new Mass Effect 3 out every day, but I can only get Tales of Asperia up once a week. That's, you know... Seems a bit strange. Oh, how do I... Oh... There's no way to get there anymore. See, I guess the, the path used to be... I don't know where. How the hell do I get out of here? Should never have come back. Did there used to be a way to go to the left or something? So I guess this is... This is the big complicated... See, that looks like a way to go. Draggy the Dork doesn't mention it in her uh, guide that I can recall. Maybe those are paths that have been caved in. At any rate, um, it's not unheard of for these JRPGs to have these huge convoluted dungeons you have to map to figure them out. Yeah, I am pretty sweet. Assuming you're talking about me. Yeah, Lone Wolf Storm on nothing, and then you jumped into range for another one! Stronger and stronger! Stronger and stronger. Uh, play a shit game called only. Sorry. Referencing Grimoth LPs. Not only does he not watch my channel, I don't even think he's subscribed anymore. So this goes nowhere, I take it. It's probably just a series of rooms with no treasures in them, so Draki never had us go in. Now there's a treasure. What are you doing to me, Draki the Dork? Well, I mean. It's a treasure that we don't need. Oh, I tell you what we can do. Here's what I can do. Don't let him trip you up. I'll show you the Mystic Art against totally generic enemies. Melodramatic douchebag, and it didn't even finish them off. I got halfway up to a new uh, level of uh, stuff, anyway, though. All right, but anyway, the whole point was now I can use a limit bottle. 
Oh, it can only be used during battle. Oops. Should have used it during battle. We'll destroy them in no time. Oh well. So not exactly uh what I intended, but Oh, it filled it up one level. Oh well. That damn it! That's not what I meant so to do. Okay? I was trying to taunt, and I remembered a I don't have a uh, taunt set up right now, and b um, I had to use the right stick, not the control. So that was totally wasteful. But we're getting night swords up the wazoo. Oh well. And a new limit ball. You know what? We'll kill you while we're here. Why not? This'll make good practice. So that was a totally pointless over limit. You're doing just as much of a pose, an unnatural pose as they are. Okay, so this whole video is just pointless dungeon meandering. Um, wasn't really my intent. I mean, I could cut the whole thing, I suppose. But explain stuff that I meant to explain. I guess I just really have to try now to get this one out in a week where it's not the only video that goes out. But hey, you got to see the overlimit, right? That's exciting, right? Sure it is. Didn't we explore all these rooms and none of them got us out of here? Ah, oh, damn. Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. Sorry about my face! Concentrate! I broke his guard anyway. And an almost fanatical devotion to the Pope. Yeah, I didn't feel like dealing with that again. Uh, is this the room? How the hell do I get out of this place? Here it is. Not that freaking hard. Okay. Somehow I think this was down into the left. Well, this has been kind of a crap video, but uh, it's going to be a little short, too. But it'll position me so that I can get going a little better next time. Uh, but anyway, we established um, that you can actually get back to the room that um, our good friend was in. Um... Which is sad. But, yeah, so Raven appears to be dead. I don't buy it, though. And, again, I maybe I'd be more emotionally impacted, but I've seen bits of a strategy guide for, you know, Raven at the Coliseum 100-man melee, which I don't think is available yet. Maybe it is. And you'd have to, to do it with Raven before you get to this point in the game because he's, he's now dead and will never be usable again. But I have a feeling he's coming back, so I'm not that worked up. So the way they already mentioned that he was like practically indestructible, which is why it's so irritating that he dies so easily when he's in our party. But this this blastia core that keeps him alive and gives him like super strength, um, I don't feel like he should go down that easy. If he was a villain, I certainly wouldn't believe he was dead. 
you know, the way he went down with us not getting to see a corpse, that's classic, like, you know, he'll be back later without explanation kind of death, so... If uh, we get to the end of the game and Raven never comes back, I, I guess I'll reconsider. But in the meantime, on the Mysterious JG, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope you'll join me next time for more Tales of Asperia. Bye-bye.